<laughs> yes, in as much as you are sure your village people are not after you to make you have an accident when you are driving, eh? You can go. <laughs> Hey guys, good evening. It's your girl here again. All the welcome to the vlog, guys. And today, hey, today I'm inside because that's more of what you'll be seeing right now. It's so cold. Trust me when I say it's cold. It's very cold here. So even snowing in some areas in some part of South Africa, it is snowing, guys. So we're no more going outside for the now for the immediate um just here and there just few things sometimes but no more like really really outside you'll be seeing more of inside vlog right now i'll be inside talking to you sitting down like this yeah pardon me because it's kind of cold right now so if you're new here welcome please 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 subscribe join the family join the family put on the notification bell so as to when i post new video you will be the first to know and if you are a returning subscriber hey you guys my guys thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video and today we just want to talk about some few things yes some few things so um i have here on my list <laughs> i'll be looking down here once yeah just in case just i because i love to spill it i just want to spill it out <laughs> so i don't forget anything yes guys um i just want to talk about five things five things that you can do you or you will do in nigeria my country and it is normal but here in south africa ish if you do it <laughs> i'll come and say hello to you inside when i say inside i know you know you know what i'm talking about yeah five things that is legal in nigeria but here in south africa it is illegal would i say it is legal in nigeria i don't know um not like yeah yeah because you yeah it's not like a really it might not be legal but not like big big offense that i know of yeah or um, yeah so five things legal in nigeria that's my headline five things legal in nigeria that could land you in jail when it comes to south africa so number one on my list it is animals eh guys <laughs> south africa they don't joke with animals <laughs> yeah animals here it's really they take animals like human the same way they treat animals like the way that they would treat human is that how they treat animals just like in nigeria but like in nigeria uh, you can animals is you can um kill animals in nigeria and it's fine because yeah we do we go to the we you can set a trap in nigeria you catch animals you call we call it in Nigeria we say bush meat we call you can set a trap and you catch the meat before you know you're already cooking you're eating it already and it's fine nobody's gonna ask you nobody's gonna question you but here in South Africa if you do anything to animals say <laughs> If I open my windows, I do see squirrels. In Nigeria, you will not see squirrels flowing everywhere. Hey, they don't run. You will not see them. Eh? But here in South Africa, they are everywhere. They just do their thing. Nobody goes for them. Nobody hunts them just like that. Eh, freely, walking freely. <laughs> in Nigeria, we they catch animals. We they kill them anytime. <laughs> we they eat them just roast it like before you know it you are eating i have let me tell you a little story i have this friend of mine no not really a friend yeah she's in my complex some time ago okay her um cat the cat yeah got missing she was crying literally crying really i was like 
I don't understand. Why are you crying? She said, her cat got missing. Have you, have you seen my baby? She, she was like, have you seen my baby? I was like, baby, no, there's no child here. And now she told me, not a child, it's my cat. So I was like, really, cat? Is it the reason you're crying just because of cat? In Nigeria, we, oh, you even see cat, you run, you'll be scared of it. We, we think they are, they are... <laughs> <laughs> we think they are evil, but here they play with cards just like that. Not everybody per se in Nigeria, but um, so for me, I just I, I see cat, I run away, I feel like it's evil. I don't go close to it, yeah. But she was literally crying for cats. I said, For real, eh, my kids they even have this thing they do in their school. For animals, I don't know what it's called, but if you know, please um, put down in the comment section. Let me know what it's called. Yeah, they, they call it. Um, it's like they visit. They, they they where the teachers ask them to care for animals. Just if just in case you have anything to maybe give to the animals as a gift, you can bring it to school. Yeah. Once in a while, they have that. Maybe once or every other year, every year. Yeah, but I know. I used to buy her. Sometimes I buy her them um, dog food. Sometimes the dog blankets, the cat's food, they take to school. Yeah, teacher just asks them to bring it so that they can care for pets. Hmm. Me, I've not seen that kind of thing. I'll be like, really? <laughs> so... Guys, if you kill animal in South Africa, hey, they don't joke with it. They will come for you. So that is what it is. Kill animal. Hmm, I'll come and visit you in. Yes, number two. Number two. <laughs> One thing I know, number two. <clears throat> women. <clears throat> women are like big thing here in South Africa. They don't joke with women. They have this kind of respect for women yes <laughs> they have this kind of respect for women mm -hmm. yeah but like in nigeria hey you do anyhow you see anyhow just because you are a woman then you not do any no 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 hey yeah in south africa <laughs> you can tell a guy like you you just can't maybe um talk and you see one slap bah, on your face hmm. it doesn't happen here they take good care of him even when you're talking the man is talking and you are also talking mm. just like that they don't nice women in south africa they are highly respected guys eh? you see you can be talking with your husband maybe you have issues with him you will be talking he's he's okay let's he's talking and you're talking both of you are just exchanging words it's normal he will sit down you will sit down you take uh, uh, he's talking you are taking both of you are exchanging words now uh -huh. you talk your own you talk your own you're not scared because you you are rest assured he will never raise his hands on you uh -huh. If I know he will never raise his hands on me. If you talk, I'm all, if you talk one, I talk one. If you talk two, I talk two. And hey, we'll just say it. We'll just do our thing. Core the core. At the end of the day, we'll still settle now. And hey, hmm. Because if he lays his hand on, on you, he will tell him. You see, if you will even be bragging. <laughs> just touch me now. Just go. I will call the police on you. I will call the cops on you. Touch me and see. Eh? Hey? Or more, he will just keep quiet and like, I'm not touching you. We're just talking. We can just talk. For Nigeria, not go try and move. <laughs> Your husband is talking and you, you are also talking. He go beat you for free. Like, for free. Which police are you going to call? To come and do what? The police will come and help you fight. That what happened? That your husband is talking, you are talking. <laughs> The guy will beat you for free. Here in South Africa, they will just, both of us, we can just, except you have some, your brothers, except you have brothers that would make it like, if I just beat you now, if I hit you now, your brothers will come for me. Except you know you have brothers. Not be police, so 
Which police will come and ask questions why your husband beat you up? <laughs> it's not like that. Here, eh? You're telling him, if you touch me, just touch me and see what's going to happen. I'll call the cops on you, eh? Bros, go, go maintain. Eh? He will maintain. He won't touch you. Both of you will just like, yeah, you see, eh? he will talk, you will talk. Eh? It makes me feel like, hey, oh more, I'm respected. <laughs> So we just like, you know that kind of thing now. Hey, you fix me feel this protection. Because if at the end of the day, let's assume the guy slaps you. You know how man hand be now. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, you see their hand when they... The strength we women, we have. The strength the man has. The women, we don't have half of it. So when they hit you, you know somebody, it will be like as though one big trailer has collided with you. You can't, you, yeah, you can't do much. So now you have those police who come and say, eh, why would you touch her or things like that. It makes you feel so special. It makes you feel, hey, hey you are big. No go talk to Ninja man, they go beat you for free. <laughs> yes, guys. So number three, number three is drinking and driving. Mm -hmm. Here in South Africa, <laughs> you cannot drink and you're driving. <laughs> the highest secu um what is it called? The metro. I don't know the highest psychologist. They are psychologists. I don't know how they do it. He can just look at you and knows that you are you have taken something. There's something inside your system. They will know. If you just tell him, oh no, I didn't drink anything. Okay, no worry. No worries. You know they follow you argue. They don't argue. He just goes there, bring his I don't know what they call that thing. He just give you say put air, blow it. Before they know it one more. You are being caught, so they don't catch you. <laughs> if you drink and drive in South Africa, I'll come and give you a cool drink when you are in. They don't do that here. But in Nigeria, uh -huh, I want to know say I drink. Wait, wait, he want to test me, not they. Like, how would he know? I'm, I, I, he wouldn't even know I, I, I drank anything. Yeah, who ask you? You can drink and still go inside your car. You drive, you go to where you are going to, in as much as you are sure that at least you can still see a little. Your eyes are not fully closed. You can still see a little. Yeah, <laughs> boy. You are sure your village people are not after you to make you have an accident where you are driving. Eh? You can go. You won't collide with anything or maybe have an accident. Then you can do that. You can drink. You can drive. Nobody's going to ask you. Nobody's, nobody even know whether you even took anything. In as much as you are not caught in the act, drinking and driving at the same time. If, no, if you are not caught in the act, then you are you're good. But if the road safety catch you, see me, you're drinking and you're driving, then it's a problem. What? Hmm. Don't try that in South Africa because I'll come and give you a cool drink when you are in. <laughs> Number three is trash. Hmm. In Nigeria. Well, yeah, you can eat something now and throw. If you just finish eating maybe your biscuits or anything, you just put the anywhere, you just jump it. I grew up knowing it, it's like that. <laughs> Here in South Africa, if you try it, oh yeah, now you just call me when you are in, I'll come and bring lunch for you. They don't joke. <laughs> Even you on your own, you want to throw something on the floor just like that. You don't get conscience. Don't you have conscience? How would you just throw something on the floor when everywhere is clean? With your conscience, your church mind, I don't think you would want to do that. Nobody needs to tell you. You don't have to go look for the law. What does this law? Can I throw? No, um, because you already see everywhere clean. 
So, Mo, how do you want to go through something outside on the floor when you see everywhere it's clean? <laughs> you can't even one good thing. You can't even lie that it's not you. Yes, because cameras everywhere watching. How would you lie that it's not you? <laughs> everywhere is clean, so you cannot just go just put something. Hey, you're throwing anything on the floor, and just like that, and you feel nobody there. You in your mind, in your heart, nobody is seeing you. Or mother, they see you. They are watching. <laughs> So you don't just throw anything anywhere because everywhere is clean. So you don't just throw anything anywhere in South Africa. In Nigeria, eh, if you do that one, no, nobody will ask you. Uh -uh. You throw it. Nobody will just, just put it. Nobody will ask you. Yeah. Here. I will come and see, say hello to you when you are in. If you try that. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Yeah, number three or four. How many have I listed so far? Number five is traffic. Hmm. Traffic in this country. You can just be driving. Cameras everywhere watching you, watching you, watching you. And there are this kilometer you are supposed to drive. I was just driving. Let me tell you a little story. I was driving one day. I was just going on my own. I didn't even know I was supposed to run. This uh, there is a certain space you are supposed to run, like sixty. Is it kilometers? I don't know how. Is it? Yeah, you are supposed to run sixty. So now, the the camera. I don't know. The camera told me I I I exceeded sixty on that. The track where I drove past before I knew it now below fine on my in my mailbox. I was like, really? This is not me. I didn't do this. Mama, I see my face, so I see myself, the picture, everything, how you did it. You, know, the, you can't even tell, you say, ah, maybe it's what I, I borrowed somebody my car, that's why. Maybe it's that person who did it. They will give you proof it is you who did it. Hmm? But in Nigeria, you will not even know maybe you drove past the limit. You're just driving, you're going because uh, which camera won't come catch you now whether you drive past or you didn't drive more than <laughs> what? <laughs> so here in South Africa, if you drive so fast, like oh, there's more than your required limits. It's a whole lot of problems. Like you are welcoming problem for yourself. Hey. So <laughs> wait a minute. Who are you? So thank you so much for watching, guys. Yes, in case you're new, please join the family. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and hit the little bell just so as to whenever I post new video, you'll be the first to know. Bye.